Hello and welcome Aries. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Alright, so Aries, let's go ahead and get, get started. Let's see what uh, what comes out, what comes through, and what it is that you need to know. Alright, hopefully everybody is doing well. Having a lovely Memorial Day weekend. All right, Aries. I do have a fan in the background. <clears throat> Hopefully it's not that distracting. All right, Aries, we do have the Eight of Swords coming out. So feeling kind of stuck, unable to move forward, unable to make decisions right now. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. Wow. Okay. All right, so Aries. Um, definitely going through some stuff here. Like I said, bottom of the deck was that Ten of Swords. So this could be um, either a painful ending has happened or you're in the process of it happening. It's soon to happen. But I think you've been thinking about this for quite some time, trying to figure things out, trying to see, do you want to continue with this person, this relationship, or do you want to go your own way? It's like you've really been trying to hang on. You've really been trying to make things work for some of you. This is a marriage or a long time union. And it's just like things aren't working out like you've tried and you just don't know what to do from here. Yeah, and I can see you leaving one situation behind, almost like um, kind of leaving the past behind, because I'm not getting that there's any chemistry, there's any, it's like you've really been hurt by this person. Huh. Yeah, like I said, um, this does feel almost like a past energy to me. Um, however, sometimes I pick up on, you know, things that, a little bit ahead of time so you know doesn't necessarily like I said for some of you you could be actually going through this um, timing in tarot is you know always a little off it's kind of fluid here um, but again you know you're finally making those decisions you're moving forward you want happiness um, you're having a kind of a hard time letting go I think you're having a hard time letting go and just releasing things like letting go of the past releasing that pain releasing that um, negativity but it's like something changes here and you decide you just you decide to go ahead and take that leap of faith. You decide to go ahead and put that faith in yourself and you want that new beginning. So it's like I'm going to take this chance and I'm going to go for it. It's like you've been waiting for the right time, waiting for the next opportunity. And it's almost like you're just taking matters into your own hands and just saying, you know what? Now now's my time. I want to do this. I want to start something new. I want that passion. I want that fire. I want that chemistry. Like I want a brand new beginning here. Um, this could be within a relationship. Um, oops. And I just hit my mic. Sorry about that. Hmm. Yeah, because we ha I keep getting, like, for some of you, this is going towards a soulmate or a twin flame connection. If you haven't met this person yet, this person's going to be coming in. And it's like you decide to just go ahead, you know, take your chances. Like I said, because it really feels like you are releasing the past. It's like it's taking you a while to get to this stage or to get to this point. And so you're just like, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm going to release it. I'm done. I'm over it. Putting it in the past, you know, moving forward. And then it's like a new opportunity just kind of falls in your lap. Okay. I want to clarify this uh, four of wands, please, for Aries. What is this Four of Wands for Aries, please? Beautiful. 
<laughs> okay. Um, so remember when I said some of you are going to be going towards this twin flame, towards this soulmate connection? Um, yeah, cards don't lie. We have the Ace of Cups and we have the Six of Cups. So this could be someone from your past. Um, however, I'm getting it's more just a soulmate connection. Some of you, you know, possibly you, ha you have children, could be worried about, you know, how am I going to be dating, you know, if I have my kids to take care of, or, you know, are they going to accept my kids? It doesn't look like that's really a factor in this, and, you know, in case that is your situation, you are worrying about that. Um, however, like I said, this Ace of Cups here, <sighs> brand new opportunity, you know, beautiful opportunity, um, feelings, emotions, abundance, you know, that that door opening, you know, one door is closing. That was kind of painful, you know, a painful ending. One that, you know, took you a while to get over. One it took you a while to really kind of release the pain, the, um, the betrayal, you know, the having those trust issues with that person. And it's like you moved on beautifully. You are moving towards, like I said, a very beautiful connection here. All right. Okay, I want to know about this full card, please. <laughs> the Empress comes flying out, of course. So the full card and the Empress card, I mean, wow. You know, this is you taking a chance. <laughs> taking a chance, stepping into that throne, knowing your worth, you know, giving yourself, like, a new beginning here. You know, this is talking about birthing that new beginning, And I know we're going into summertime, too, because I keep getting something about summer. Hmm. I'm going to take one more card, please. And we have the Hierophant. So for some of you, like I said, this is um, going into a commitment, into a relationship. Like I said, it does feel like a soulmate connection here. Hmm. Yeah, and we have like all three major arcana, so definitely some major changes coming up here for you. But that Empress card and the Hierophant card, you know, it's like I said, you know, learning those lessons, putting the past behind you, you know, wanting to start new, wanting to move forward, wanting to move into the future, moving towards a connection, like I said, finally releasing those trust issues and that betrayal because it feels like somebody really... It really kind of took a toll on you um, as far as your last relationship. And it's like, for some of you, I don't think you ever thought you would find love again. Or it's been a long time coming. Um, so maybe you've been single for a long time. Because it does feel like it's been hard for you to let something go here. This could be, like I said, the betrayal, you know, the mistrust, you know, just the hurt, you know, the pain getting past this person. But then it's like you move, you finally decide to just have that faith, you know, take that leap of faith and start something new. And like I said, you really own it. You step into that throne, um, you know, knowing your worth, like I said. But, you know, this is also talking, like I said, about, you know, giving birth, birthing a new opportunity here, especially with this higher event. Like I said, I keep getting um, long term commitment. Like I said, learning those lessons, putting it in the past moving towards some beautiful new beginnings, you know, especially with this Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups here. So a big opportunity is going to be coming in for you, Aries. Um, for some of you, you could be traveling. You know, when the time is right, of course. All right, let's get some Oracle cards here. For Aries. Let's see what is coming in for Aries. Okay. So we have Share Your Song, Frequency of Sound, and Diving Deep. Um, this is the Will and Orca Elders. We have You Got the Love. <laughs> Um, yeah, is he has, okay, I have to skip to the codependency and boundaries. So this is what I was really picking up with the letting go, like, and then the eight of swords. It was like really hard for you to kind of just, 
you know, release yourself from this past person. I don't know if there's some a kind of level of toxicity, but it does feel like a betrayal or a very unexpected ending, just very painful to where it really just kind of left you stuck in place for a long time, like really hard for you to kind of release until you finally decide that, you know, you have that love within you. Like you deserve, you know, more than this. You know, you're not going to stay stuck in place. Like you need to release and you need to move forward. And it's like, you know, you decided that you put that faith in that, you know, in yourself and you move forward. Um, now, with the star ancestors, you know, hidden secrets, lost wisdom, and look a little deeper. So this is kind of going back, you know, for the Hierophant to me. Um, you know, having that knowledge within you, you know, knowing those answers, knowing what you need to do, knowing where you need to go from here. And like I said, having that faith and moving forward. Then we have birthing a new age, so bringing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So going back to the Empress card for me. Beautiful. Like I said, a rebirth. I kept feeling like, you know, just a rebirth, a regeneration here for you. Birthing some new possibilities is what I keep getting as well. All right, so now let's go ahead and get some... Uh, Twin Flame Angel numbers. All right, what messages do we have for Aries? Zero, zero, zero. So examine situations with your third eye. Do not rely on human eyes to be your true guide. So yeah, so kind of going back to this um, Hierophant card, you know, the star ancestors, you know, getting signs. Hmm. <clears throat> really trusting on, you know, trusting your intuition instead of just what you can see. This is about going, you know, within yourself, like I said, trusting that intuition, you know, trusting that third eye, trusting that gut feeling, that gut instinct that really says, you know what, this is what needs to happen. Any other messages, please? All right, then we have 404. So what is meant for you um, will never be held from you. So have faith that spirit is taking care of everything. So yeah, so going a bit again to the Hierophant card, going again to, um, you know, that full card, you know, having faith. Like I said, it's, it does. It feels like you decided to put that faith in yourself and, you know, just release the old and moving into the new so all right let me go ahead and grab you okay aries <clears throat> had to grab my other deck all right all right so we have attraction so you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully we also have forgiving and learning. So as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. So yeah, again, you know, learning your lessons, having faith in yourself, releasing the past and moving forward. And then, yeah, um, release your ex here. So the time has come to clear your energy. And like I said, it really feels like you have or you're moving forward in order to do so because it feels like it just feels like a huge release. And like I said, having faith and just moving forward and moving to so many new opportunities, something very beautiful here. All right, I'm also going to take a Moonology card just because I haven't used these in a while. So let's go ahead and get this and then we will call it a day. All right, Aries. Aries, Aries. Let me get this one. Communication is key. A time to give rather than take. And then your commitment is being tested. All right. So with the Hierophant, definitely, um, you know, some lessons to be learned which is what I'm getting more from this card. You know, your commitment is being tested. Um, like I said, just putting that faith in yourself, having that faith to move forward, to release the past. You know, it's like, it's really up to you. Like you hold the key in your hands. You know, 
um, a time to give rather than to take. You know, this is talking about just kind of balancing out the scales, you know, maybe giving back, you know, still having hope, giving people chances, things like that. And then communication is key, of course. You know, just opening lines of communication with people, kind of putting yourself out there, like I said, um, taking that step forward. So... All right, well, Aries, that is what I have for you for this week. So I do hope this helps your situation. Thank you so very much for taking time to uh, watch here. And until next time, take care.